had never been taught any finances uh, from our parents. Two, three. We were doing, felt like we were doing all the right things financially. See right here, this is a house. But we just weren't succeeding at making progress. What we needed was a plan. place to start is realizing that this is a behavior problem. It is going to be a challenge. I mean, we are so used to swiping that credit card. Even if we pay it off at the end of the month, we're used to just doing that. And he's going to challenge you to do things differently. I handled the bills for a while, then I'd get frustrated, I'd give them to him, and he'd handle the bills, and we never did them together. We did it for 13 weeks and made a big dent in our situation. And just knowing that we're going to do that, it, it takes some pressure off of both of us. We're in this together. We're not doing it as an individual. We have a plan and we are in control and we're doing it God's way and there is just a tremendous amount of peace of knowing that we're following God's plan. We're, we're together on it as a family. Well, we can use what we've learned uh, from here forward and, and, and be debt free and be uh, reach the financial goals that we want for our family. It's been exciting. It's kind of my, my new side job is Craigslist <laughs> selling. He talks about credit scores. He talks about negotiating. He talks about insurance and investing and all sorts of things um, to give, put you on a better path toward your eventual goals. You can absolutely do anything that you want to do with this class. If you'll put in the time and the energy and implement the steps that he says, there's no reason someone can't completely turn things around. I think you'd find that just you walk away with so much that you'll feel empowered and have hope to get out of your situation. Absolutely, you have to budget for fantasy baseball.